In previous generations, sports stadiums and arenas lasted for decades as home bases for teams in 104-year-old Fenway Park in Boston and another baseball cathedral more than a century old, Wrigley Field in Chicago, are still in use. But those two are the exception to the sports rule of today in that sports owners want no part of aging facilities. Aging facilities, as in the 13-year-old Glendale, Arizona Arena, or the 24-year-old Arena in Phoenix. Apparently, the owners of the NHL franchise in Glendale are looking at Phoenix, Tempe, and Scottsdale for a new building. And perhaps the owners of the NBA Phoenix team think they need a new building soon because a 24-year-old facility is long in the tooth. Phoenix Mayor Greg Stanton is aware of the plight of the owners and thinks that Phoenix really should get a 21st century state-of-the-art multi-purpose building for both sets of owners to replace a 24-year-old venue that was considered the state-of-the-art in arenas in 1992. On top of that, Stanton has to deal with the city's upset Major League Baseball owners. You see, the city's 18-year-old baseball stadium is getting a bit old and the owners can't allow themselves to be using a stadium that is old enough to go away to college. It's not only Phoenix area-based teams. It is building spring training facilities for Major League Baseball owners around Phoenix and seeing tourism tax money running out to pay off the debt for the facilities used by 15 teams. Spring training sites in Tucson were abandoned for shinier places in Phoenix. In Tucson, a minor league hockey team is coming to town and local residents will be forced to kick in to improve the city's arena because that is what is expected of Arizona residents by sports owners. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.